Hello there. Welcome back to Fresh and Extreme. And today I am racing at Charleston, West Virginia, Kanawha State Forest in a race called the Black Bear uh, XC. And uh, as you can see, I already got dropped. And uh, <laughs> I, from the last race I did, I didn't have the right tires on, so I thought this race would be, would need heavier tires. So I have enduro tires on my XC bike, but it made me just go really, really slow until I start going downhill, as you'll see in a second. But uh, I managed to catch it back up. That first little stretch there at the beginning was about two mile on the road. That caught me off guard. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to ride on the pavement for two miles before we entered this 800 foot climb. Actually the first uh, part of it's about 500 feet and then you go downhill about 80 feet and then you're gonna climb the remaining 300 feet up to the top. But anyway, as you see me go into the woods here, um, I'm going into a, like a black here. And I'm sort of confused. Uh, I'm like, do I go down here? Not because uh, I'm scared, but it's just like this is a downhill trail, like a double black or a black, a, a black diamond, actually. And so you see me sliding down here. This is really vertical. Look how I'm holding on to the tree. Look at that. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I've never seen an XC race where you go downhill. Like I need my uh, slash or my uh, uh, or my uh, session <laughs> on this, but these uh, racers I'm riding with are are tough, man. Um, and a point to note: I am riding this side unseen. I thought I could ride it, but I'm learning my lessons about XC is to actually do a pre-ride, at least ride them one or two or at least twice before you race. Okay, so I guess this is my first time. And right here is just so slippery. I can't even see the line. And the line is actually there. Uh, these are man-made. Uh, some of these are man-made parts anyway. And so I guess if you live here, you know how to ride these trails properly. But I uh, thought I was going to do pretty good. I climbed the hill pretty good, you know, caught some people. But uh, after doing this, all my sugar was gone. Okay. And he's telling me, uh, oh, you go right here. I'm like, uh, I'm kind of delirious. But I, he tells me to go on the left, but I go on the right. <laughs> so I'm sliding through this mud at a 70% oh grade. <laughs> but I'm making it down. Though. I didn't fall down. Though. Uh, my adrenaline is pumping and uh, burning up the excess carbs that I have left. Uh, and by the way, I'm now down to about 220 pounds in this video um, and so this race is number four of the West Virginia Mountain Bike Association uh, series and so I missed the first one I believe it was race to the little Mo's and then there's uh, Montwood and then uh, my home turf which is uh, Cooper's Rock um, and then this one here and so uh, I know I'm going out of order I actually forgot I had done this because it took me about a week and a half to recover and I totally forgot about this race that's why you haven't seen it so that's why it's out of order <laughs> um, but anyway um, I am getting destroyed here <laughs> on this uh, on this uh, particular course it's a fun course and it's very well planned I can tell uh, if I lived around here uh i would be a a, a, a a monster just like these guys and gals are and so woo, coming down the hill <laughs> yeah i like going downhill better than climbing uphill all right so as you can see i'm riding the rebel ranger this is i think my second no my third time riding i'm trying to make some modifications i'm still not quite used to the uh, uh the the fork and I thought I had the whole goal of this XC bike which, which I found is not XC bike it's a down country bike so uh, 
it was to be a little bit smaller because all my bikes are pretty long, and so I can barely get around some of these switchbacks. Uh, they're really tight, like right here. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fall off this little rock bridge here. Uh, a very nice rock bridge, by the way. And so uh, I'm just trying to muddle along uh, here. Got the darn, my heart rate is beating out of my chest. And now I'm just in fumes mode for the rest of this race. And I believe I got about probably 11 miles to go. <laughs> and so uh, I'm trying my best. I get hung up here on the switchback. I'm glad there's people out here. At first I thought, because I didn't see anyone, that I was, you know, they all packed up and went home or I went the wrong way. And I'm like, I'm out here. I'm going to see a black bear. And actually, when you hear a name of the race, and the, like, like I said before, this is a black bear, I thought I was going to see some bears out here. And so I'm, uh, the thought of seeing a black bear, which I know now that they are not that dangerous unless you... Uh, uh, run into a uh, cub, like a mom, mama bear, and then the cubs. You just don't want to get in between them. But they're pretty much uh, very docile, almost like deer. Almost they just run away. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, a few weeks ago at Cooper's Rock, I saw a black bear at Cooper's Rock. Yeah, 400 pound bear. Uh, me and the uh, the ranger, the park ranger, we saw it <laughs> uh, down Liburn Trail, and I thought it was a dog. <laughs> anyway, back to the race here. Uh, but I'm glad there are a trail crew here at Black Bears uh, at this uh, Kanawha State Forest is here. And because there's no cell phone service out here, it's kind of weird that there's no cell phone service being so close to Charleston. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to find some flow here. There actually is flow. I just don't know how to ride the flow yet. Uh, and so I'm learning. You know, I'm chugging through this. Uh, I'm learning that I need uh, less air in my tires. I'm riding, I'm riding uh, right now, probably about 35 uh, PSI in the back, 33 in the front. So I'm popping off these roots and getting knocked off. Uh, so like I said before, it's been a, a probably two months since I rode this race. And so I'm getting a little bit better, getting a little faster. Um, so hopefully, maybe in a year or two, hopefully by next year, I'm going to try really hard to practice uh, riding during the winter uh, time and, you know, get myself even in better shape. A lot of people say, Russ, you're in good shape right now, but you're not compared to these uh, uh, people here. They're on another level. <laughs> uh, now my heart rate's going down a lot. Like my resting heart rate now is like 49. I feel like I'm in better shape than I was when I was in the uh, Army, actually. Um, and in the Army, I could run pretty fast for my size. Uh, and in turn, um, of course, I was young. I was like 20, 20 years old back in the day when I had some youth, youth to me. But it's still there, actually. I can still feel it there. Um, just a matter of reactivating the muscles. Um, yeah, most of the time, I... Uh, for the last few, like 12, 14 years, I worked uh, pretty much alone in my uh, room, <laughs> in my room making these videos, and I uh, make uh, music and uh, do some little bit of programming here and there, like iPhone apps and stuff. And uh, so I started to get kind of chubby, as you know, I've weighed about 280 pounds. Uh, when I started this in 2018, got hurt a few times. I was trying to figure out these bike things, and as you've probably seen by my garage, I have so many bicycles, and um, I think I'm finally narrowing it down. I think uh, it's the XC bikes is what I want to ride, but it's just weight and skill, you know. And so I'm finding that uh, I'm starting the big bikes, but I'm going down in size now. So I have bikes I don't even use, like the Slash. Matter of fact, the only bikes I really ride now is this one, and then uh, I go from this one uh, when I'm riding, when I'm just you know doing like a slower ride, and then now I fix up my uh, my wife gave me her bike because she don't ride uh, XC's to Trek Super Caliber, um, 
uh, it was like the base model. Still a carbon frame. I just had to replace all the parts on it. A very expensive ordeal. But uh, like I said, I was about to sell it. But uh, you haven't seen me ride that one yet. And so I'm still getting good at riding it. And I've got uh, some clipping pedals now. I'm trying to get used to, you know, clipping in and out without falling down. But see, I'm at the top of the hill now, as you can see, and it's hot up there. I sucked suck the last of the energy out of, out of me. But luckily, we're going down here now. Um, starting our way down, not quite there yet. I like uh, seeing that middle ridge trail sign. But we're not, I'm not quite there at the end. I think we're doing a, a little, some, some loops up here. I, everything's starting to look the same. Um, and the last part, uh, the adrenaline, I thought I had no energy. But this last part, is a, it has to be like a double black. I do not know how they went down these bikes and some of, some of these people here with these XC bikes. Uh, but it just shows me what's capable. You don't need a, a full, long travel bike to go down some of these hills to me it's more safer of course because these bikes are really light compared to my like the xc bikes are really light compared to my the slashing's heavy you know this bike is still pretty heavy though for being a quote unquote down country so it's not a cross country bike it's pretty slack uh angles 120 it's like a, a slash without the travel it's just 120 in the front 115 in the back and so, but it handles pretty well. So I think I'm almost to the top of the hill here. I'm trying to find my way. You know, still Middle Ridge Trail. I can't, don't know the name of the last trail. Um, that it's like the grand finale. It's kind of like Pump House Trail in um, Mountain Wood. And you come down this trail and uh, this downhill section. I didn't see a sign for it. Uh, but it is really, really sketchy. Yeah, and I'm really, really tired. When you're tired, you can't think very well. <laughs> and you need your mind sort of fresh and your body fresh when you start descending in, in a very uh, steep and rocky terrain. And uh, you can probably hear uh, my, uh, you're going to hear my pedals scraping against the rocks and stuff here shortly. Up oh, in there, I caught somebody. Uh, I think this guy here i don't know no i don't this is a new person usually it's a, a another guy he's like the champion for high school uh on his trek uh super caliber but i don't think that's him i think they are probably already done everyone's already done except for me <laughs> and so but now we're descending now i'm gonna let this play out a little bit so you can see how steep this is and very very steep very very steep bicycle what is that called oh still miller ridge trail it's not middle of the trail though. This is something different, something uh, more crazy. You're gonna hear me start screaming <laughs> because uh, he, this man, this is my man here, let me go to let me get destroyed first. He knew it was up ahead. No one warned me. Okay, so I'm headed down now, and this is to the descent to the finish line, and this is gonna get really, 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 really rock gnarly here. They say. <laughs> And I'm going to almost slide off the hill. I don't know where I'm going. I just I never thought it would be this steep at the, uh, especially at the end when you're tired. Uh, when I'm tired, I guess I'm the only one that's tired. <laughs> but here we go. Headed down. This guy, he's like, you go first. I'm like, ah, here we go. See how steep that is? You can't even see the bottom. And uh, I just like to know, I just like to see if anybody else, I, I, I had to walk some of these places. I cut a lot of this out because I just couldn't get my bike around some of these current corners and stuff. And then my, um, I just don't know how to ride the trail. I don't know the lines or anything. But this is straight down here. Like, I'm like, ah, I'm hitting these brakes. My brakes are squealing. Here we go. It's tight. Feel the rocks. GoPro does this no justice. Look, I'm riding flat, but this is like, I believe it's like a 40% grade right here, or even more than that, 50%. I mean, I'm sliding down the hill here. I mean, luckily, I mean, it's the wrong tires to rock climb up and ride on flats, but going down, it gave me a lot of traction uh, on these uh, tires. I think they're specialized tires. I just had them in the garage. I was like, let me put these on. 
because I was slipping around at the uh, last race in uh, Cooper's Rock, which was wet. And so now I'm really understanding the purpose of tires. But basically, you don't really need uh, tires. You need some grip, but you just need to make sure your tire pressure is correct so you don't pop off the trail. I got hung up here a little bit. That's steep. You can see down. I'm going straight down almost. 45 uh, degree angle down. Like, or probably more than that. And I'm just death gripping it on the brakes. But it's a pretty fun trail. Shout out to the trail crew. You guys are on another level. I skipped the part where I was... I just stopped and there was a part where there's, there's like six switchbacks symmetrically placed up a hill. I'm like, who in the world had the time and patience to make those switchbacks? <laughs> and you need some like major endurance to get up those get those switchbacks. I didn't. I was. It was pathetic. I, I just couldn't believe what I saw. <laughs> I had I had to put some of the, like three of the switchbacks like, when I got closer to the top. But I'm sliding down here now. This is almost as uh, steep as Windrock, except with uh, not long, but not quite as long. Windrock, you go, you'll go down just for a mile, mile or two from the top of Windmill, and you can't stop. You you can hold your brake all you want, but uh, some sections were like that. I'm like, uh, we, and they call them shoots, basically. Yeah. So, all right. So we're just about done here. We're headed to the end. Um, if I hadn't before, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, some of you all know I'm going through some things right now. Uh, but uh, hopefully it'll all work out um, uh, uh, for me. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, there's a young lady there telling me you're almost there. Uh, they make this sharp turn. Like, oh, they taught me that way. I'm glad they're there because I would have went kept going straight <laughs> to nowhere or back to the uh, where I came from. <laughs> but it's a very nice park. And so the inn is just up ahead. Still people there, so it's a good sign. That means I'm not completely uh, out of time. And there's the flag, the West Virginia mountain bike station flag. And there you go. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, yeah, my chain dropped twice. That pisses me off.